Everyone on my side Now I got a bag and I tell her say goodbye Yeah, I'm in my zone, yeah, they asking how I do this Yeah, I've been on it, yeah, I hit it now I don't think it matters what seed I am this year. I think my path to the national title, it's, it's inevitable. Like, all Americans fine and all, but like, my goal is to be the champ, so. Getting all packed here for the big weekend. I actually had to buy a big duffel bag this morning because I didn't have any here, and I have like five at my house, and you know, I'm not just gonna drive home and get a duffel bag. But I needed a big bag because we can't really use this as a carry-on. We have to use it as a checked bag because you can't carry liquids on the plane. And I'm definitely bringing some rise. <laughs> Just making sure that everything is consistent in the way I'm doing things. And basically from all the duels and tournaments, I wrestle better with a little caffeine in my system. But it is currently Wednesday morning. Wrestling doesn't start until Friday morning. But we actually have to catch a flight to Texas, which is past Kansas, and then go back to Kansas. That's the only way we could get a flight. Just seems like some wasted time, but I mean, nonetheless, we still got practice today. We have the national send off, which is, you know, super fun. Everyone claps and cheers as you walk out the door. But thank you so much for watching this video. This is my national journey. Heck, next time in this room, we could be national champions. Working with some oatmeal for breakfast, protein oatmeal. And quite honestly, it's crazy because I'm gonna be looking back on this video in a week from now, in a year on, from now, five years from now. And doing these videos, it allows me to go back and had that insight of what was going on during my day-to-day -day life, especially with right now, like the coolest wrestling experience basically in my entire career. Going to the national tournament and bringing seven guys from our team along to, you know, for them to go chase a national title, for us to chase a team title. You know, nothing is necessarily set in stone of what can happen. And there's a reason it means so much to win, right? Because we've all lost. We all know what it feels like to lose, especially, you know, honestly, in big matches. But that's why like I love doing this because the impact that these videos can make is I do believe that, you know, something that I can share not only on this channel is kind of the way of my whole progress with wrestling that if you strive to do something and you know, you put all your effort into it day in and day out that like you can accomplish whatever you want. You just you just have to put in the work and believe in yourself. But also just to know that everything is in God's hand. You have to place your whole life in accordance with like God's will. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be like forcing it down throats. You could take that information the way you want it. But I know at the end of the day, if God's with us, who can be against us? We do wrestling because it's fun. It's because, you know, we've grown up doing it. We love the fight. We love the grind. We love the climb, the chase of something. We were made to be people to go through life on progress, always kind of going for something, either learning something, having more wisdom, whatever that may be. But we got a short little practice to go to. We got the send off. Let's get it. Update on the travel plans. Not even sure what's gonna happen now um, because our flight keeps getting delayed. So we're just sitting here, just waiting. But thankfully, we're doing this um, not the day before, which is nice. But um, after practice, only one pound over, and now uh, just chilling. Not gonna lie, wrestling that in your hotel, it's kind of cool.
gentlemen, I mean, this is it. It's so cool being on the mats and just envisioning this moment, you know, back in back at Nationals, rocking the brand new XCOs. Um, shout out to the Aglets, got my faith on there. So just always um, kind of a constant reminder every time I look down at my shoes, um, just remind me that uh, there's bigger things in the world, more important than wrestling, more important than results and outcomes. And you know, at the end of the day, this is supposed to be fun. You know, wrestling's a game as much as they say. And But I mean, emotions can be high and you know, people can say pressure. Pressure is only a thing if you allow it to be. And you know, what when I'm saying, you know, sometimes these things on social media, like I know that I will be a national champion and just affirming this to myself is, it's not necessarily a negative thing to look at. Like, wow, he's cocky and you know, like, oh, well, let's see if he can back it up. At the end of the day, like I'm giving myself that opportunity, that, that chance to like really believe it and even, you know, trick myself into thinking like I'm already the national champ that, you know, the outcome is basically already already uh, done. You know, the training has been put in, all the work, it just needs to play out at this point. So I'm, I'm just happy to be here, spending time with the team and this whole experience, you can't take these things for granted. So I'm just really blessed and thankful. So yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Also, this is pretty cool. Once you qualify for nationals, you actually get a big old gift box. Each year it's different. You get every year a basic Powerade bottle. But then inside this package, there's just a bunch of goodies in there. Starting off, fanny pack. With a bucket hat, looks like there's a couple other stuff in here. Wristbands. But this year, actually, we got a nice Yeti cup. So this is this would be cool for drink like coffee or honestly whatever. This is nice. Didn't get this last year. We also got a portable charger, which is actually super clutch because especially on the long car rides, long flights, this is essential. So thanks NCAA. And also we'll get a speaker. It just hasn't came in yet. And then of course the classic participation award. But my weight's good. My dad and Kelsey are actually just getting here in 40 minutes. So I'm gonna stop at Firehouse, say what's up. They haven't eaten today, so they're fasting with me today too. But this is the time to perform and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.
boys we got the first win in my head if you can see it is like rubbed raw when you get like kind of pushing the pace there but i'm gonna bring it to when i'm actually gonna be at the hotel because we're done with this session uh well i mean some guys are still wrestling and stuff so uh, but i don't wrestle until next session basically uh but let's bring it to the hotel so we won round one i know it was like um a little crazy there <laughs> i mean got, getting taken down first you know there's there's a percent that uh I don't know the exact one, but I'll just say that definitely if you get the first takedown in a match, odds are you're probably gonna win the match. And me in that mindset, right? My goal is to be a national champ, just continue to winning. Like it's one match at a time. And in that moment, I could have been like, you know what? I had enough wrestling. I made it to nationals. You know, people have been saying like, no matter what you do, Caden, if you barbecue, you know, you owe into, it's like, you know, we'll still support you and stuff. And it's like, first of all, I just appreciate that so much when I, when I kind of receive that type of love. But also just for me and my standards that I set for myself, I know that the work I put Put in I, I know how hard I worked I know how much that you know kind of this means to me and you know my goal is to get that national title so we're you know we're still on track for that um, coming back from you know last year losing in the first round and feels good to win this one <laughs> it's just constantly wanting to score points just score points score points score points and having that go through my mind at all times no matter if I'm down by you know one point or 14 points if i'm focused on the next score that's all i can do in that match and that is what is going to get me to win these types of, ma of matches but we're back at the hotel because we have like a couple hours until next session so it's super nice you keep winning you have kind of these little breaks so i'm gonna shower up here probably take like an hour nap or so just to kind of relax my body get some maybe the boots on get my legs feeling fresh and we're going to continue on with the tournament so shout out to crosby for recording my matches um and shout out to kelsey of course for taking the picks but let's keep the same mentality and let's keep it going Wisconsin Parkside.
Can't make that up. Three days after 2024 D2 Nationals, one thing you should never do is, especially when um, I guess you're just putting it on social media, is never be in a you know a high emotional state when um, you're putting something out. We filmed the. Uh about half an hour podcast episode the other day. If, if you guys want to check out more, just kind of an overview of my final thoughts, you can check that out on our Clash of Combat podcast. We fell in the same position we did last year. We lost in the blood rounds, but most importantly, like I don't, I don't picture myself on the backside of a bracket. I, I'm there to win it. This entire year have, has been just a momentum up of I, I'm getting so, I'm so much better at wrestling. You know every single position, and then in that final moment when it's time to perform, I, I drop the ball, and it's not just like I drop it twice, but when I'm winning both matches, you know they're 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 like they're good wrestlers, sure. They ended up getting um they ended up getting third and fourth. Those guys that beat me, and of, of course, of course the uh the, the dude that I beat first round, he ends up all Americaning too. And I I had full I had full confidence in myself that I was going to be the national champion. I, I don't like I don't think you guys understood the the manifestation I guess I took in order to put myself in the best position mentally and physically to do so. But hindsight is 2020 and you can only you can only see that looking back.
you know, immediately after those two matches, um, it was in that same night, you know, they're basically back to back and I was just like, you can't make this up. And I guess what's the most frustrating is part is when I'm winning in both those matches and it goes down to me going to try a move. In the first match, I tried like a duck under or something. It just looked like I basically just put myself on my back. And then the other one was, you know, he hit me with a nice wind dixie off of my shot. And I, you know, it's kind of funny looking back at my videos, it's like, I was saying to always be on the tack, always looking for that next score, next score. And of course, like I'm up and I get in on a shot. And of course, that was my downfall. But wrestling, man, it's, it's such a crazy sport. It's such a rewarding, but humbling sport in, at the same time. And the more and more I think about it, how frustrated I can be, how, you know, just disappointed in the outcomes of everything, regardless if I was the champ or just did exactly what I did is that that next day and this whole summer and my whole training regiment, nothing changes. Actually, nothing changes. And heck, I, I gotta shout out my girlfriend here too because, uh, you know, Kelsey sent me a text shortly after I lost that second one and it was, she sent me uh, a verse, Galatians 6, 9. Let us not be weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. With regards to that, we have one more year we're not giving up, clearly. We got one more year to really make it happen. But I appreciate you guys sticking along for the journey. It's gonna be a great summer of training. It's gonna be a great year. Thank you to the patrons supporting me over on there. And we'll see you guys next video.